Aloha, folks. Did you hear that Maui home prices have hit a new record high? Well, today we are diving in and looking at what's been going on in the Maui real estate market. I'm Brett Christensen with Maui Property. I'm the broker in charge and your trusted source for all things Maui real estate. Let's jump right in. Maui's real estate market kicked off the new year with some remarkable momentum. Single family homes, as we mentioned, soared to unprecedented heights in median sales price, reaching a staggering $1.3 million, which is up 12% from a year ago, coupled with a surge in new listings. And we have been hurting for inventory, so it's actually been good to see more properties come on the market. On the flip side, Maui's condo market presents an intriguing scenario. Recently, FEMA and government programs aimed at housing those displaced by the Lahaina fires are gaining traction among condo owners and homeowners that are contemplating selling. I've seen this firsthand. There was a homeowner we met with recently that was seriously considering selling, but the amount of money that FEMA was offering for the rentals, which is I've seen is like three times market rate, you know, has enticed a lot of property owners to actually not sell. With the Federal Reserve opting to hold off on rate cuts, it's premature to predict any significant market trends for the year ahead, but uh, let's go ahead and look at some statistics. In January, there were a total of 56 sales recorded. This is 10% less than a year ago. Note that 75% of those properties selling were over a million dollars. So this is what's pushing the median sales price to where it is now. The recent influx of new listings does call for close monitoring of demand indicators such as days on market, which is currently 99 days, and the proportion of property selling below the list price, which is currently 53%, which both of these numbers have shown upward trends. Let's move on to the condo market now. Condo prices have maintained consistency when compared to most of 2023 with a median sales price of 795,000. So versus last year of the same month is 21%, but we have seen that percentage fluctuate more closer to like the 10%, every month is different. However, since last summer, the inventory of available condos has expanded much more than the residential, with the months of remaining inventory rising from three to five months in January. This increase does signal a shift from a seller's market towards a more balanced one. We like to see closer to six months of inventory on the market. Here's some advice if you're a homeowner and you're thinking about selling this year. As you look at your different strategies, seizing the peak home buying season on Maui during the winter could be advantageous. Here are a few reasons why now might be the ideal time for you to list your property. Number one is you can take advantage of the lower mortgage rates. With mortgage rates at their lowest level since May, the affordability of moving has improved. We're seeing more buyers out there in the market because they're not so shell-shocked by the interest rates. Second reason is you can get ahead of your competition. You can beat the influx of new listings by listing your property now, as opposed to the springtime. This ensure that it stands out and attracts hopefully multiple offers and is just gonna stand out more in the marketplace. And the third reason is you can leverage your equity with homeowners sitting on substantial equity. Selling now could cover a significant portion, if not all of your down payment on your next property. If you're considering selling your house and making a move, don't wait. Connect with us today, kickstart the process and gain an advantage over your competition in Maui's bustling real estate market. Again, my name is Brett Christensen. Thanks for joining us today. Please go to MauiProperty.com to get more information and check out the Maui real estate market. You guys have a great day. Take care. Aloha.